Hi, I'm Alex. I'm with MakerBot Support, and today I'm here to show you how to install the spring loaded drive block replacement for your MakerBot Replicator 2's extruder. This process will require the use of the 2 and 2.5 millimeter hex wrenches that came with your MakerBot Replicator 2. First, unload any filament and switch off the Replicator 2. Remove the motor wiring harness connector from the port at the top of the extruder motor. Use the 2.5 mm hex wrench to loosen the two bolts at the lower corners of the front extruder fan, then pull the fan assembly out just far enough so you can remove the motor. Slide the motor assembly out of the extruder and set it down on a work surface. Use the 2 mm hex wrench to remove the two bolts holding the drive block to the motor, then remove the drive block. You can put the drive block and bolts aside. You won't need any of these parts at any point during this replacement. Add the new drive block base to the motor. Add the small flathead screw to the bolt hole on the right of the drive block base and screw it in with the 2 mm hex wrench. Add the radial bearing to the post on the bearing arm. Add the bearing cover to the bearing arm such that the flat side faces up. Then press on the cover until it's flush with the edges of the bearing arm. Put one end of the spring over the round bump on the drive block base. Line up the corresponding bump on the assembled bearing arm with the other end of the spring. Pinch the drive block and the bearing arm together like this until the bolt hole in the bearing arm and the remaining bolt hole in the drive block base line up. Keep pinching and push the shoulder bolt through, then use the 2 mm hex wrench to tighten down the bolt. The new drive block is now fully assembled and you can return the motor assembly of the extruder. Slide the motor assembly back into the extruder, retighten the fan bolts, and reconnect the motor wiring harness. Once you've installed your spring loaded drive block replacement, loading the filament will be a little bit different. Press down the lever, then feed the filament through. That's how you install the spring loaded drive block replacement for your MakerBot Replicator 2's extruder. If you have any other questions, feel free to email support at makerbot.com and we'd be happy to help.